Hello everyone, Mike Money Gaming here. I just switched the thing so I could have a marking spot. Anyway, let's do um sure thing. Excellent. In that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. Okay, so I have one star power, like always. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So, you're sitting on a single dot of star power. With me so far? When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try to use this retreat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. Okay, repeatedly tilt left to shoot hearts and flowers. Yeah! You don't want to hit that, though. Dang it! There's actually a better version of this that you get later on. Since you use one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the Onyx is watching your battles is so very important. If you can get the Onyx excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario Goombella, try to attack me, please. Nice, see that? You thrilled the audience so they filled up some of your gauge. Let's see how long it takes if you do it like that. Ah. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battle, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected on the number of members in the audience. I don't know the stylist thing for her. Mario, this is your chance to hit it big. Nail an action command when you have two mention icons and the icon wheels appear. Give it a try. Yes! Bingo! If you get a bingo, your health fills to max and so does your audience. HP, FP, and star power are now all full. Fantastic! You matched three icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match up, HP, FP, or star power will fill up. But if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible happens, so be careful. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you memorize all this. Great Goomba's Ghost! Mara, look at your audience! Does that guy have a hammer? He does, the bomb. He needs to toss it at you. If the audience members hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. But you lose a audience member in that. That's right, sweet justice. You can press X to protect yourself from the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of you might toss good stuff like coins, so don't attack them. Well, that's all I've got. Here is my shit tailing <laughs> electron special move. Let's go back inside. <clears throat> Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about there. Wow, astounding! This map has radar-like functions and it now shows the location of a crystal star. Looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that the place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'll get there instantly. Pipe travel is efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but I've perhaps she tried to go 
to pedal meadows on our own. You know, Professor, there wasn't a suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, settled. I'll have to pedal meadows, you two. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Here's your map back. Won't you come in, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious game. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old grimmel like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Now, you notice that there's, there's trash can right here. Um, later on, you might want to uh, check that because it'll have important stuff in it. Wait just a moment. What the heck is that? You got power smashed. Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is, it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip the badge. Would you like to practice equipping or removing badges? No thanks, I already know how. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time I'll ask. Do you want to practice? No thanks. By the way, you need flower points to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch it not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to pedal Mato's. Because I'm going to show you how to put badges on, and it's a lot faster for me to do it. Anyway, as always, you have the badges screen. You have all badges and equip badges. As always, just put the badge on, and hey, look, you got a badge. Cool, sweetness. Anyway, use this attack, which lets you whack an enemy with its great power. Wearing two or more of these badges requires more FP for the move, and increases the attack power. Now, read that again. Wearing two or more. So this game actually uh, encourages you to have multiple badges on. But now that we have this badge, we can fight that guy and get through easily. But first, let's go save it. Because last time this guy completely killed me. Because he is pretty tough, so... This is just me kind of feeling rambunctious and killerific. So let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. If you want to pass through, you have to, you have to pay. No, I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Alright. Oh, uh, we got a poison mushroom. Yeah, that's not good. Actually, I think his spear keeps her from being able to jump on him. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear hits hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Ouch. So as we found out, we can't jump on him, so we have to cream him with our hammer. Now if you saw that item in the background fall, um, if items fall from the ceiling, what will happen is, um you will actually lose audience members. So, yeah. Huh, that hurt. You have no chance of beating me, trust me, so you better run. Yeah, if you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from your tax menu. Sometimes it's best to run. Hmm. Sometimes it's best to slam your face in with a hammer. using these in this fight, it's worth it. Uh. 
This guy's actually a lot easier to fight if you wait till later to fight him. Oop. Dizzy attacks oh, might miss. always came back and fought him because it's easier. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, breaking the fourth wall. Anyway, you think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Anyway, if you come through here, this is East Road Port. This is the turf of Ishnail and his crew of robos. East side's all run down. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you're doing well better have a compelling reason to be here. That travel center is the only place on the east side that other townsfolk come to. The place is open where when you're in the neighborhood, just jump in. It's locked, you can't open it. Hmm. Trouble center, I'm out of the office, please come again. It's locked from the inside. So really there's nothing we can do over here, but it's just kind of fun to do that. Anyway, let's go see what, how much it is to stay at the end. Because in this game, ends cost money, but might as well go and see, you know. Since we need some healing anyway. Boy, I used to sail around and run wild in my young days. I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. This is the skull stone, the lucky charm of my family. I, oh, I love you, you sparkly thing. It's so proud, I'm supposed to give it great big kisses. It never leaves my sight. Never. Ah, oh, what are you doing, stinking up on a person as he sings most jovially? Who, me, you ask about? Ah, I'm called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Roadport. Hmm. Can't you take a hint, pal? It means scram. Don't talk to me. Hmm, <laughs> Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Paldi's place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stores and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're wary, go on up and relax. Wow. Oh, where in the world could the princess have gone to? This is quite troubling indeed. Welcome to the lone ref uh, refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Would you care for a bed? Sure. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. What's out here? Ooh. It's a bat shop. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. A big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. Welcome. So, what can I do for you? I'm buying. What kind of badges interest you? Uh, special deals. If you're looking for special deals, you'll find them on that shelf. Otherwise, stand in front of the badge you want and press A. Hmm. Make action commands easy, but earn less star power. Make action commands hard, but earn more star power. Get more star power when more appeals. Power jump. Only 35 coins for power jump. You need 1 PP to use this badge. Is that okay? Yep. Alright. And last stand. Anyway, let's put on that new badge that we got. There we go. Two FPs required to use it. Anyway, if you jump up on this roof, there's not really much up here right now. But you can just kind of walk around. If you jump back here, you end up in the back alley to where before. 
So, yeah, nothing special. Hmm, nothing really in here. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Squitch. <laughs> ah! Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Uh -uh. This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're going to pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Nope. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm going to block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. No? Look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lens in. Ah! My rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it. <laughs> Cooking, huh? Hmm. Looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card. Blah, blah, blah. Anything new in the news? A glowing mysterious light under the city. Smells like treasure, people. I saw Mario get pickpocketed. I guess even superstars can be taken to the cleaners. I wonder how many coins that fat cat has on him anyway. The housekeeping Goomba. <laughs> Anyway, actually, we need to go to the shop now that we've done that. We need to ask about a contact lens. <clears throat> welcome. Yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Eh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Alright, thanks. Buy a mushroom and a honey syrup. <clears throat> That's all we need. Anyway, that's just something fun you can do. It's not actually required that you do that. Whew! <sighs> Anyway, let's go back down the pipe. If we can. There we go. <clears throat> anyway, this time let's hit the save block again. Progress was saved. Let's try going this way. Hmm, who's this? My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for him. Yay! Come on, let's trade. Well, let's see what you have. I don't think I have enough, but let's see. I have Attack FXY, which of course does the same thing as it did before. You have Chill Out, Pretty Lucky, Happy Flower, Happy Heart, Happy Heart P, Item Hog, make it like an as well appear, uh, Heart Finder, Flower Finder, Pickaboo, Quick Change, Flower Saver, and Power Plus. What? You changed your mind? So lame! Anyway, if you come to this door... You see this person here, and you talk to him, and they're like, Ah, ha! Welcome, Mario! I am more lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Oh, you sound familiar. Seeing with my amazing abilities that which you seek is my humble job. The lighting of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha! Uh -huh. So, shall I see something for you? Uh, no. Aha, uh -huh, is that so? Well, if there is ever anything you want me to find, just ask. Anyway, where we need to go is back down where we were before. But we can also come over here and use our ability to get up here. I don't know if there's anything over here, but we can just check it out. Ooh! Bloop bloop. Ouch, that hurt.
Who just up and whacks someone's tootsies like that? Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Would you look at that? That's some saucy mustache guy. He's in a world of hurt. I gave him a taste of the old tentacle chancel. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Franklin told us, right? You can just press Y to change your attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Can't flee this fight. There's one tentacle down. Ouch. That's a blooper and a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G R O S S, gross. <laughs> Max HP is 12, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and. <laughs> Once you damage both, the tentacles will fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and house on that slimy, nasty blooper. audience goes, ah, oh, that sucked, you know, and actually will get mad and run away if you keep doing it. So you gotta be careful about that. I killed it. <coughs> ba -bloop. Hmm. That's nice. Oop. Now in this game, if you ever fall in water, that happens. So, yeah. Here we go again. Anyway, this should be the path to where we needed to go. Yep, chapter one. Castle and dragon. Okay, cool. Petal Meadows. <laughs> well, here we are. The Petal Meadows were folks at Crystal Star Hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mar. The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Anyway, let's save our game. Let's get a start piece. And a mushroom. What is that? Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that it? Wow, Mario, look! Cool. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything like that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor Franklin said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. Hmm. 
interesting. Ooh, another mushroom. And nothing in this tree. Okay. Hmm, anything in these? No. Nope. What about this tree? No. Nope. There's a Goomba. Let's take him out. This time he's not alone. Oh! Uh, these are carrying items. They can actually uh, use these items against you, so you want to be careful. Sometimes you can get these items for yourself, but not always. But what they do mainly is they, um, if used, they can do damage to you or whatever. Oh, it's close call P is what he had. So he had a badge. Now then, what that's gonna do is just like the old close call, it'll put, it'll make your uh, enemies sometimes miss, but only on your partner. That's the only difference with this game, so we don't really need it right now. But there's one for us right here. So let's put it on ourselves, because we are we are so mean to our partners. Haha. <laughs> oh. That's okay. Let's see, uh, how do I want to do this? I like how Goombas are our enemy, uh, I mean, are our audience, and they're just like, Cool! You're killing our friends! One was about to throw something at us, but since the battle's over, it doesn't matter. There's a pipe there, but we don't have to worry about it yet. Got him. I know I'm going a little bit over my timeline, I'm just kind of having a little bit of fun here. Alright. We're close to leveling up here, which is going to be awesome. There we go. Now let's go down this part. Hmm, I don't think we can reach that. Hmm, we'll have to get another ability later, I guess. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my towel ability, okay? I might be able to look up some useful info that help us on our adventure. Okay. If you're ever running through here, it totally makes the air crisp and refreshing. Hey, yeah, and by the way, Mar, have you tried checking the grass around here? Sometimes those clumps of grass hide good stuff, so always check them with A. You like that? Haha. <laughs> now here's something also new. You can actually move into the background. And just kind of move around. You can't really do much except for jump and swing your hammer, but you don't really have much use for that because there's really no enemies back here. You hit the switch. A bird appears. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop this here and I'll be back in a little bit. Till then, everyone, bye.